In early 2016, I bought the cheapest Staples chair I could find, a Burlston chair, just to see how long I could make it last. The answer is three years. <laughs> Not exactly to the month and the day, but I did get just about three years out of this chair before now I finally have to wave the checkered flag on this thing. So this Burlston is the latest chair that I have where the metal gives out before the material. There's only two real parts to your average office chair, the material and the metal. And what gives out when determines how many years you get out of it. And with how cheaply things are built these days and how cheaply they're sold, uh, well, sometimes it's good to keep an eye on just how long cheap stuff can last. But anyways, yeah, three years. So let's take a look at what went wrong with this thing. Right there, the metal's letting go. This is not the first cheap chair I've had do this. But you can actually see it get slightly bigger and smaller if I try to wiggle the base. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, look at that. See the liquid-looking stuff that's going in and out of that crack? Yeah, that is hosed. Don't know if it's unsafe yet, but it is definitely unstable. Let's stand this chair back up. The material doesn't look too bad, considering it's been slamming into a desk for the last couple of years, but <laughs> with just one arm. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> look at how freely it wiggles back and forth. Yeah, that's the metal giving out underneath. So the lessons learned from this Burlston experiment, by the way, that's my fault, we'll talk about that later. The lessons learned here are pretty simple. I've lost weight, and I don't need big and tall chairs that are made for people that are up to 400 pounds. But if a chair's made for regular use by someone who weighs way more than I do, and way more than I ever have weighed, <laughs> then that should say something about the metal construction underneath to support that amount of weight without breaking right off the bat. So in terms of wear and tear, I, could, I should at least try to get a chair where the material wears out before the metal. But that's another discussion entirely. For now, though, it's checkered flag time for the Burlston. That's my fault, and that's unusual. We'll talk about that a little later on. But for now, it's the end of the line for this thing. Multimedia J out.